Hey guys, Ridiculous Badger coming at you from Planet 1182, and welcome to the new series that I'm calling Please Kindly Know. I'd like to highlight good interactions with support. If you have them, send them to me. Great. Bad interactions with support, even better. Send, send me screenshots. Let me know your stories, um, and I'd like to showcase some of these interactions with you. So, I noticed after the update dropped that they had a shadow patch very quickly after to fix a couple of issues, and one of them was the scale rate of corrosive armor, where it was announced to us at 2%, but in the game originally it was 1.5%. And this, for me, highlighted the need that we have for a changelog. A changelog is simply a published list of all of the changes in an update, whether it's a bug fix or a new feature. This is an industry standard, and you could actually search online and you could get some great examples of changelogs. So I have a conversation with support that I'd like to share with you. And to be quite honest, it got a little bit heated and I'm a little bit embarrassed about it, but I would like to share it with you so that you could see how systemic this issue is, and we could talk about ways that you in the community can help. One way that you could help is write into support and ask them for change logs. Tell them that we want change logs for updates. So I went to support and I said, hey, this issue where you, where you change the skill from 1.5% to 2%, this highlights our need for change logs. The developers need to announce when they make changes like this. And then I asked them something about uh, when the max speed up um, was changed for sending. The lack of transparency is becoming very frustrating. This should be a top priority. All we would need is something like this. Hotfix updates of version 2.20, Orochi skill corrosive armor, scale rate change from 1.5% per level to 2% per level to keep in line with the announced scale rate. That's all we want to see. They came back. Hello, you misunderstand. The original scale rate of it is 2%. We find that there's a mistake since the update, so we fix it. It's 2% now. Please have a check again. This is where it got a little bit heated. I said, no, you misunderstand. When changes are made to the game, we want to know this, even if it is correcting a mistake. Hope you can understand. <laughs> we don't change, dot, dot, dot. We find the problem and we fix it as soon as possible. That is a change. Fixing a mistake is a change, and we want to know when it happens. We don't mind changes. What we mind are not knowing the changes. If you told the players about the change, we would support you. Think about it from our perspective. We logged in after the update and saw it was 1.5% scale rate. How would we know that you fixed it? Some will know this. Some will never look at it and know this and just think that the skill is 1.5% per level. When you make changes to the game, even when you're just fixing the game, we want to know this. This is an industry standard. This lack of transparency is a serious issue. So oddly enough, they're arguing with me. All they should be doing at this point is sending the feedback onto the developers. They're, a, they're basically a switchboard operator for the developers and for other teams in, in Seven Pirates. You know, they forward messages on and they fix customer service issues. This isn't a customer service issue. This is a developer issue. There's no need for back and forth. And I don't know that they're passing on my, my advice here or my feedback here because they're not saying that they are. They're just arguing with me. So they came back after we do an update, we'll check whether there are any problems. If there are problems, we'll fix it as soon as possible. After confirming there are no problems, then the, again, they're, they're not addressing the issue that we just want to know when there are changes. And so I told them, I feel like I'm arguing with a wall. I shouldn't have to argue with, plus, with customer support. You're alienating your player base when you do that. When you fix things, tell the players, don't sweep it under a rug. I know I'm not going to convince you on it. You just see, don't seem to understand the player's mindset. So I tried to give them an out here by saying, look, agree to disagree. You know, I'll just let you know I'm dissatisfied with the way that the update was handled and with the way that this service ticket was handled. You know, they should have just sent this, this feedback on to the developers. Good night. And they, they didn't go for it. They didn't take the easy out. They came back and decided to keep arguing. So I figured, look, I'm not, I'm not willing to let them feed me this line that they can't be sharing with me when they publish changes. So they go, hi, sorry to cause your bad feeling. As far as we know, there's no game which could publish all details such as optimization or bug fixes in the game, let alone small fixes, which has almost no influence for major changes, though. We do have noticed. Thanks for your understanding. Good night. This is absolutely 100% not true. 
And so I provided them with a changelog. And the changelog that I provided them with is from War of Thunder. And you can see this is so detailed. This is a single changelog. It's so long. And things that they do will tell us are even minor things like, look, KV-1S. Tank weight has been increased from 41,400 to 42,500. Source. And they gave us a source that, um, a real world source where they took those changes from, from some book that was written in 1943. Smoke grenades action type has been changed to instant. And it goes on and on and on and on. You know, and they give us, like, there's small mechanical changes in here. There's interface changes. There's game mechanic changes. So, no. So, they came back. So, some pirates came back and said, you know what? Change logs are, in fact, they are, in fact, impossible. What you're, what you're asking us for is impossible. And I said, oh, no, it's not. I just gave them a change log from a popular mobile game. This is an example of a change log. By contrast, seven pirates changed the name of Jigen's skill and couldn't even tell us. So they changed the name of Jigen's skill, which was Shockwave with no space. And they, the reason that they did that is because if you look in the game, there's Shockwave with a space, which is Dragon Slayer, and there's Shockwave without a space, which is Jigen. And the problem is that in the shop here, it doesn't tell you what any of the skills do. So people bought the wrong one because Jigen's shockwave skill was cheaper, costed Jigen medals, thinking that they were getting Dragon Slayer uh, shockwave. So people complained about this, so they changed it to Oscillating Wave, which if they told us of the change, I would have said, hey, bravo, devs, and this may seem like a small thing for me to nitpick them on, but it's just an example of the fact that they don't feel like they have to tell us when they make changes. It's something that you might not know this for a very long time. They came back and said that, in fact, what you're asking for, Badger, is impossible. And I came back and said, not only is it possible, but there's got to be a happy medium. You're telling me, like, you're just shutting me down, telling me it's impossible, when, in fact, Seven Pirates could be trying much harder to keep us informed. If they did, we would support their transparency. Hand in hand with that, while I understand you want to defend the developers who pay your salary, it never solves the problem or suits the frustration of a player who comes to you with an issue. All you need to do is pass on the feedback. No one wants to argue with you. Thanks for your understanding. And this is where it, it got completely off the rails. Thank you for your feedback. If there's any sharing information, we're going to share it with you. So even if we don't publish these changes ask us and we'll we'll share it with you we'll pass on your feedback to the relevant team thank you you know finally they're saying that they're going to pass it on it took arguing with them all night for this so we're not trying to argue with anybody don't worry that's what they say the opinions from people will vary everybody has a right to say what they think and we have the right to say what we think we were just sticking to the right thing we believe have a great evening so here's the thing and by every one of us is saying, have a great evening, because we're trying to end the conversation, but neither one wants to leave. Like, we each want to have the last word on this. But they're saying they're not arguing with me, when in fact they're, you know, they're very clearly, they were arguing with me. And, you know, I understand everybody is entitled to their opinion, but their job as support is to solve customer support issues, customer facing issues. This is not a customer support issue. This is a developer issue. So in cases where it's not a customer support issue, their job is to share the information with the relevant team. It's not to defend the team because I'm not attacking the team. All I'm doing is providing feedback. All they need to do is pass on the feedback. Instead, they're being combative. So. I felt like this was too much. Like, for them, number one, to keep arguing about this change log issue, and number two, for them to say, nah, we're not arguing about it. So I took a screenshot of the conversation above, and, and I showed them where they're actually arguing with me on what the definition of the word change is, where I said fixing a mistake is, not, is a change, and they said that's not a change. I disagree. Here's an image of you arguing the definition of the word change. Thank you for passing on my feedback. The format that we want, it's great that you're willing to share the information, but the format that we want to receive the information in is called a change log. It is an industry standard. Here is another example of one. And at the bottom of the page, you'll notice a section on bug fixes. They had said that it's impossible to publish bug fixes. And I'm saying, no, here's another game that publishes their bug fixes. So by contrast, this is what Seven Pirates does 
It's a single line, detail optimization and bug fixes. It's on every single update. So based on that, I don't even know if they do detail optimization every time. I imagine it's user interface optimization and bug fixes. I don't know what those are. I don't know what bugs they're fixing. I would love to know because then um, I could stop reporting them, you know, if they fix it. The player community finds this unacceptable. We don't want to individually ask you for the information. That's a waste of everyone's time. And it's a waste of the developer's money and payroll for you to be answering the same questions multiple times to different players. We want the developers to publish the changes. That is my feedback. And that you never answered my question about when the maximum level of speed up send was increased. Are you able to share that information with me? Images above for your reference. So what follows now is I just start asking, you know, I figured... Look, if support is saying that, they, that they're going to answer all my questions and that the developers don't need to publish anything, I'm going to keep asking questions until I get like a reasonable response about change logs. Because every time, they, every time I have a back and forth with them on this, they are arguing with me about the change logs. So I figure I'm going to argue back until they stop arguing about it. So I started asking them questions because I wanted to see, number one, also... Number one, will they actually share with me all this information or will they rate limit me and only answer a few questions? You know, that was the way that it was in the past. And number two, are the answers that they provide actually accurate? Like meaning that in without a change log is interacting with support good enough? And I found that I found that the you know it was actually very interesting. And one of the things here that I find the most interesting is like I can understand from a player's mindset, if someone were to share this kind of a log with me, I would go, I understand why you as the player are emotional on this. But it seems like support is also getting emotional on this. And I kind of wonder why would support get emotional on this? Maybe I'm reading into it too much, but it seems odd that like this just seems this is like a hill to die on for support that they have to defend the developers when I'm not attacking the developers. And I realize, you know, I could I seem aggressive here, but I'm not attacking the developers. And in fact, I give the developers a lot of money. You know, I play the game very often. I hype the game. I'm, I, the owner of the Ark of War Discord server with 3,000 members on it. I'm a huge support to the community. I'm not saying this to toot my own horn. I'm saying this to show that I'm not attacking the game. I'm not attacking the developers. But these are things that the developers need to be providing change logs to us. It's an industry standard. We deserve it as players. It will make their jobs easier. It will make support's jobs easier. And it will make it easier for us to interface with the game. It's a, it's a win-win all around. Okay, so I, have, I also have another question. I am hoping you will share the information with me. Jigid's skill, Shockwave had a name change. Did any other commander's skills get a name change? Why was Shockwave changed to Oscillating Wave? Thanks. I notice sometimes when I log in, I cannot unlock equipment. The game tells me I have not been logged in long enough. How long do I have to be logged in for? Does Virgo's Radiance stack? Does Steam Cannon dispel Menderbot? Does Resistance resist Dual Blades? What about Sleep Bomb? What about Virgo's Radiance? Both effects. Uh, the stat, the the status effect and the status de and the stat debuff. Does resistance resist steam cannon? How is first strike determined in peak? You know, these are all things that in the past I would have asked support one at a time, and I always have a running list of questions. I figured I would just ask support because number one, I'm trying to see will they be able to answer all my questions, and number two, will those answers be accurate? The VIP 11 says seven free all-star attempts per day. Is this added to the regular three free attempts for a total of 10, or is it seven is the total, including the three free attempts we normally get? For the new gems, Hercules and Perseus, how do we obtain them? What is the minimum and maximum attribute provided by the gems? Is there any way to get headgear tan lang in game I cannot locate? How does the resistance attribute work? Can you provide a formula? Will there be additional ways to get resistance besides a Hercules three-set bonus? Do the items in the super vending machine have a different chance for scoring two free iterations? Some items seem to never give two extra, and some seem to be almost every time. If so, can you please share the information as to the drop rate? Will Orochi be replacing Huberian as the Season 11 GC rewards? I, 
And then I noticed in previous events when the event changed, there was still a chance to do daily quests and collect ether coins for about 10 minutes after reset. This time there were only three minutes. Is this going to be the new standard going forward? I was expecting to collect six more ether coins. Thank you for sharing the answers to my questions. So I asked them 16 questions and some of them were multi-part questions and they gave me this wall of text. Um, and it wasn't that far. It wasn't. Oh, no, it, it was like uh, 15 hours later. OK, sorry for the delay. As we said before, if there's any information that can be shared, we will publish it. So actually, no, that's not what they said before. What they said before was if there's any information that we could share, ask us and we'll share it with you. Now they're saying that they're going to publish it, which is what I'm asking for. But I don't think they understand that it looks like they're agreeing with me when, in fact, they're disagreeing with me. The most game will not – so they changed before from saying like basically that um, change logs were impossible. Like it's impossible for a game to publish all of the changes. Now they say most games will not publish some details and we are like most games. We have no idea when the maximum – and then they go on to tell me they don't have answers for me. We have no idea when the maximum level of speed up send was increased. As for the name change, the devs have their consideration. We have no right to bother. So they're just ticking off the boxes. What are the questions that we could just deny right off the bat? So – they won't tell us when they make changes. They won't tell us why they make changes. If we ask them, it will feign ignorance or say that they don't know or just not follow up on it. And the equipment will be unlocked soon after players playing the game for a while every time. Again, you know, non-answer. Virgo's Radiance can stack. Okay. So we got one real answer out of 16. Steam Cannon cannot clear Menderbot. Two. Resistance resists Dual Blade, Sleep Bomb, and Virgo's Radiance. Okay, so they didn't explain, though, if it resists both effects of Virgo's Radiance. Uh, resistance can resist Steam Cannon's debuffs. What is, the f what is first strike and peak? VIP 11 has a total of seven free attempts. Okay. Players cannot get Hercules and Perseus at present. The way to get them will be released later. Please wait with patience. Their minimum attribute is 15%. The maximum attribute is 45%. And we have released an event for Tanlang already. Resistance can enable you to have a certain rate to, impose, to immune the debuff which your enemies impose on you. Now the only way to get resistance is from Hercules 3 set. It's random to receive two free iterations of the super vending machine. So again, just not answering my questions. The Orochi will not replace Huberian as a reward for GC. All players cannot collect more event items if the event has ended. If you have any other problems, let us know. So some of these are non-answers. Some of these are actually wrong answers, and some of these are real answers. Some, some of them are also like, you know, it, it gets a little bit confusing. So firstly, I am not going to let this slide where they're saying most game, we're like most games, most games don't publish a change log. Most games publish their changes through change logs. This is an industry standard. Please kindly know. Please clarify, does resistance resist both effects of Virgo's Radiance? You did not provide a formula for resistance. Can you please provide it? I, and so here's where I called them out on something that they actually answered incorrectly. I asked them, can I, how can I get Hercules and Perseus? They said, you can't get it yet. I found Hercules and Perseus in the All-Star shop. Can I not purchase them? First strike is which commander goes first. In peak, how is it determined? You said you have released an event for Tan Lang, but I think that it, this is an error. Please confirm. So I think that this is another, um, another uh, mistake in their answers. You didn't answer my question about the super vending machine. They basically just repeated what it does. My question was, do items have a different rate of scoring two free items, or is the chance all equal? I didn't ask what happens when you get two free items. You get two free items. How much time is required after login until I can unlock gear? So like, again, they're just not answering my questions. Were any other commander skill names changed? As there's no change log, I have no way to know unless I ask you to share the information. So I'm trying to, so again, they were saying like, yeah, we're not going to tell you. And I threw back in their face that they told me they would tell me. <laughs> Are you able to ask the developers when they made the change to the maximum level speed up so uh, we could send to guildmates? This was modified and I would like to know when. Thank you for your help with my questions. And I closed out by saying, 
by sending them a clash of clans uh, change log, and I said, you'll notice on this change log there are sections on interface improvements and game balance notes. Here are a few images which will be helpful to review. And I just showed them how there are quality of life improvements, there are bug, um, bug fixes listed. So every change that is made in the game is recorded by them somewhere. I want this information to be made public. <laughs> so they came back with, as far as we have known, different games have different regulations and rules. Publishing details can be an example for some particular games, but it's not a standard. If we violate the standard, Apple and Google will not allow us to release the new version. So, I mean, this is completely false. Uh, oh, um, they're misconstruing what an industry st like standard is versus what the terms of service are, which, you know, you know, it's just completely false. Thanks for understanding. You know, and by the way, none of this conversation needs to happen. And I realize, once again, this doesn't showcase me in the best light. But there's no reason why they need to be having this conversation with me. They're not the decision makers on change logs. All that I think when they argue with me is that they haven't sent my feedback onto the developers. And they're arguing whether or not I have a real case. So to me, as long as they argue, I have to argue back on this. Because this is such a pivotal issue for, for gameplay. Thanks for understanding. There's no formula for resistance. Re <laughs> resistance only can resist debuffs. Debuffs, this is interesting, being the temporary skill buff that... What? <laughs> the, a skill buff is a debuff that reduces your defense or HP or attack. You can buy star... I, I don't know. So and now it sounds like I thought a lot more things were debuffs. They're coming along and saying, no, it, it's really this very, very small, like, narrow category of things that are debuffs. And this kind of blew my mind. You can buy star jewel chests in all-star. We didn't notice that. Sorry. In peak, the attack order is random. I'm not sure if that's true. It might be true. Uh, there was a typing error. We haven't released an event for Tamline yet. So I, they're not at a good success rate here for, number one, they can't capture all of my questions. You know, like, I have to ask them multiple times the same question. And number two, they're not providing accurate responses. Like, these answers, it's hit or miss whether they're accurate. And when I call them out on this, like, you know, to their credit, they come back and go, oh, yeah, we made a mistake. But I shouldn't have to, as the player, hunt down and research whether or not their answer is accurate. There should be a log of all changes in the game. <laughs> Generally speaking, valuable items have a lower chance to get a free chance in the super vending machine. We do not, we do, we're not clear about the detailed time, but it is not long for logging into the game and unlocking gear. We only change shockwave. Thank you for telling me that. We will help you to pass on the feedback on sending speed ups to the devs, but we do not know whether they would adopt it. I don't know what the heck they're talking about here. Like, I haven't given the only feedback that I've given about what I want them to change in the game is I want change logs. I've been so clear about that. So I don't know what this feedback is that they're talking about that they think that I want um, added to the game that they're going to tell the devs. And I love how already they're telling me, by the way, the devs aren't going to do anything with it. So I come back. So like... They start out with, uh, you know what, change logs are impossible. You know what, most games do cha don't do change logs. You know what, D different games are different, but it's not an industry standard. What are industry standards are the terms of service of Google and Apple. So I came back and said, change logs are an industry standard. Apple and Google do not enforce industry standards. They enforce the terms of service. These are two separate things. Regarding the time speed ups, I'm asking you to share information as you previously said that you're willing to share information with players about changes that are made. I don't have feedback on this issue, but thank you for offering to send feedback on to the devs. Regarding resistance, what determines whether or not a debuff is resisted? Is it a straight percentage chance? Does 15 resistance equate to 15% chance? Is it 1 for 1%? 1 Does resistance not resist status effects? Because they told me that it was only debuffs with 
attack, HP, or defense, which, you know, is crazy. There are tons more debuffs and with that are tied to stats, like accuracy and, um, and other stuff. <laughs> Thank you for answering my questions, and I thought that I would give them another change log. So this is from the Sims mobile update, and again, here's another example with images below, which explain the improvements, fixes, and the bug fixes. They will be help, helpful to review. Thanks. At this point, they were done with me. They were, you know, they, this was amazing. They came back, thank you. We passed this issue on to the relevant team. They will consider, have a nice day. They didn't answer any of my questions. So I put them to task on it. it, it I'll tell you what, this conversation is still ongoing, but as far as the issue of the change logs goes, it's, I assume that they, that they sent this on to the devs because they stopped, at least they stopped arguing with me on it. So... What is so important here? What is the takeaway? I realize this is long-winded, and that was a crazy conversation to review. You know, and for me, it was very surreal to have it. When developers make changes to the game, these changes are recorded. We have a right as players who have investment in the game to know what the changes are. And if the developers were more transparent with us, we would be able to support them more and it w there wouldn't be these opportunities for hostile interaction. So I hope that you've I hope that you've enjoyed <laughs> some of this like odd conversation going through it with me. I do plan to I I do plan to continue uh, highlighting conversations with support. And if you have odd conversations with support or the developers, if it's good interaction, please share it with me. Bad interaction, even better, please share it with me. We're going to continue on with please kindly know. And if you agree with me on this, please send in to support a ticket. Please ask them to start publishing change logs when they make changes. We want no more shadow updates to the game. Thank you for joining me this evening. Hope you can understand so much.